On this episode of Off the Beaten Path is the first episode of the fifth season, and we got what? Sicko Say! I don't know if that's an actual Italian number. We're talking about Italian fingers. We've also got the Pittston Tomato Festival. Swords, S words, swords, the art, sword art. Very interesting story on that. And Chris Fulmer will take us on another trip with his camera. It's all on the next Off the Beaten Path. The Pennsylvania you never knew existed. Sicko Say! This <laughs> person. Probably gonna kill us. I doubt it. I'm fine. You fight him? I'll fight him for you, yeah. I mean, of course. Yeah, you can take him. Yeah, I mean, if someone's gonna come after you, <laughs> or us, or the equipment, we'll leave the equipment, we'll just run. <laughs> I can't run fast. I'd have to fight. And then they'd find the footage here later. <sighs> yeah, it would be like a found New, footage yeah. movie, yeah. Of, of me with, with my dukes yeah, up dude. like this, <laughs> like 30 style, style boxing. boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm wearing a piece of history. What's that? I'm wearing a piece of history. Oh, we didn't even talk so, about that. Yeah, property, property of Hayfee. Yeah. This is when I was on the soccer team. If yeah. you notice, it was always kind of awkward. It's, it's kind of like a turtle neck shirt, but not. And I got, it's authentic, because I used to always throw pens in the washer and dryer, and my mom would get all angry. That's and there's smart. there's pen on it. But now it's an heirloom. Yeah, it and you, nice. you have to you have to hold on to you were very players. You were very into soccer. I love football. soccer. I still do love the football. The, the football. European football, <laughs> yeah. And it's fun, and there's a whole big culture of it growing in America. I went down to a Philadelphia Union game, the Sons of Ben, and I did a bear fight. Oh. It was... Uh, Why did, hasn't we done anything on path yet we, about it? Well, maybe we will in maybe the future. We will. Soccer culture is very interesting, so maybe I'll keep my mouth shut until we do that, and <laughs> then I'll introduce you to the bear fight. It's kind of cool. What does that mean? It was um, a beverage. It was a. Um, it was two bombs, I believe. It was an, an Irish car bomb oh. and a Jaeger bomb, and they kind of raced down the line like huh. in a game style. And I like it already. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm it's very interested now. The very friendly people, very nice people. They're down not there. soccer hooligans. No, no. I mean, they're very passionate, but I mean, they're they don't they, fight. They don't fight. Well, it's also you, you don't have like. You don't have like two countries competing against No, each other. no, it's like Philadelphia and New York and they realize like they're trying to grow the soccer culture so if you beat the crap out of a bunch of people right. they're probably not going to come back and drink. Plus they just seem like they're nice people, so, in general. So soccer. Yay. <laughs> Hayfee. Yay. There's a bocce court over there. Did you watch the mermaid thing? Yeah, and I believed it. You did? I did. Oh, I got all excited. I got all excited because my wife got so caught up in the hoopla because she loves the little mermaid. And I was like, yes, mermaids are, look at, mermaids are real. They're and then at the end of the show, I found out, no. You know what we should do? We had. should go uh, on a cryptozoological crypto hunt. For mermaids? No, for like the party's old devil beast. Oh, yeah. Bigfoot of cranberry. And other legendary creatures found in northeastern Pennsylvania. I've heard of the Pardeesville Devil, devil from you. Devil Beast, yes, devil, sorry, not the just devil, the Devil, not the devil, devil, devil Beast. Devil Beast, different, Jersey <laughs> Devil, Pardeesville Devil Beast. So it's, it's kind of like one up on, on Jersey. I don't know if we grew up in different times where like your generation slayed all these animals and I grew up in happy, <laughs> but we didn't have like these mythical monsters. Well, we also had the internet to keep That's true, yeah, we didn't go outside much once we turned <laughs> a certain age because we just spent time online, yeah. <laughs>